Hi, this is Raymond. In this video, uh, I will cover the different types of or various types of measuring tools we found in an engineering workshop. So, measuring tools help us to get an exact or precise measures of our, uh, especially our parts and components that we used to be using measurements. Also for uh, clearances. Uh, so these measuring tools uh, will help us to work effectively and efficiently in our uh, job. So firstly, I have here my list, uh, my various types of measuring tools. I have here a tape measure, so 5 meter. It can measure uh, long distances. Uh, you need to measure this one is, uh, is by centimeter. So every number is centimeter. I have here also uh, this L square. Uh, used to measure also distances or distance uh, also in centimeter and also it has a 45 degree angle pitch and I mean 90 degree angle and a 45 degree angle I have also here a retractor so this one is used to measure angles or if we want our desired angles on our components I have here ruler so this ruler have a conversion table at the back so this one is from inches to millimeter uh, I have here also uh, micrometers so this one is 0 to 25 uh, the finest it can read is 0 0.01 mm 0 0.01 mm so I have here also another micrometer so it has deleted already erase it but the same and last one I have here the vernier caliper so the finest it can read is point point zero five this one point zero five so Tip measure is used for uh, measuring length. Uh, this is, is usually used in um, uh, almost uh, all kinds of engineering workshop. So it can measure long distances, meter to meter. And also I have here the tri -sphere. So, I have, so the purpose of this is uh, usually used in carpentries, uh, this one, they can create uh, exactly 90 degrees on the wood, so for example in this wood, uh, they will create 90 degrees, like that. So. I have here also, uh, for example, uh, this micrometer. Uh, this one is used to measure small distances or thickness or dimensions of a component. Uh, we're going to check first for uh, defects, for the lubrication, for the uh, calibration if it's calibrated before we use make sure it is clean so for example this uh, micrometer I have here a micrometer so I'll make sure that this area 
where these two uh, shaft will meet is clean, free of debris. This uh, thimble. And of course, if I'm going to measure this one, I will make sure that this one is clean. For example, I, I, I will uh, measure this one. So in using this micrometer, uh, this one can read uh, up to 0.01 mm. So I have here uh, the reading. So this one is uh, in the upper parts. So this one is by one mm. In the lower part, it's 0 0.05 or half of the millimeter. So we'll count first the whole number. So zero, so five, ten, fifteen, and then after the fifteen, so it clearly uh, shows here that it passes the 50 points of mm so it should be 50 50 50 plus or 15 point 50 the first reading and then we're going to add the uh, the additional so 25 26 27 28 so it's 28 and it's in between in 28 and 29 so we will get the the nearest one so 28 so since this one can read only up to 0 0.01 mm so our reading is 15 point 50 plus 28 is 78 mm so 15.78 15.78 mm so, so basically this uh, micrometer is very useful in especially in measuring with small clearances components like uh, journals or diameters of our crankshaft or especially when it's very uh, specific when it comes to clearances so always refer for the specifications Manufac manufacturers specifications uh, so this is the micrometer this one is our uh, vernier caliper so I have here so make sure before we're going to use also uh, for this one so we're going to clean this area so simply just at this area here and check the zero if it's in zero position so it seems like it's in zero position so this one is calibrated or free of defect so usually if there is for example there is small debris small debris in between this one so it won't get exactly to zero so check always for the defects or or some uh, debris in here so for this uh, vernier caliper it used to measure distances it also uses uh, for uh, diameter so, uh, for example I have here uh, the diameter the this one is for inside diameter for example this one uh, the thickness the length so I will give the example of this uh, 
very near caliper so for example this one uh, pin this is usually a pin or a cylindrical form so we're going to draw this one So we can use to we can use this vernier caliper to measure the outside diameter, the inside diameter, the thickness, the depth or the length. So we can measure the dimensions of the of these uh, parts or object. So I have here, for example, this one. I will going to measure the outside diameter. So for outside for measuring the outside diameter, we just. Uh, gently press this one make sure that it's not too much we're going to uh, damage our tools so i have here the reading it's uh, uh, 31 so exactly 31 so for the outside diameter outside outside diameter it's 31 mm for the inside diameter For the inside diameter, it is uh, 10, 15, 15 point. So we're going to check also where it, where this line uh, perfectly match. So this one is 15 point 70. So as we can see. Uh, at seven so this one is perfectly aligned this one is uh, passes or sh a, a little bit short so we're going to put the seven so the inside diameter is uh, 15.70 so inside inside D is 15.70 70 mm also we're going to measure the length so for example this one so put it in the lock so this one is uh, 40 45 46 47 for so 47.30 so as you can see here 47.30 so the thickness uh, the length is or the uh, height is 47 47.30 mm so the, the last one we did not the thickness so for the thickness of this uh, this one here, so we can simply put this one like this, and then lock or lock. So we have here 10, 11, 11 point something, as it passes the point of 11, so 11 point 70. 11.70 so the thickness is 11.70 mm. so for example I have this part then I want to give the dimension of this so I have here uh, the component or the part so I have here the height measurement I have here the thickness, I have here the inside diameter, I have here the outside diameter. So using only a linear caliper, 
I've already measured the dimensions of this uh, uh, component or cylindrical form or pin. So, uh, for example, also this one. So, how can I uh, measure the, cl the clearance between this one and this one, this uh, bushing or bearing? So I will measure the inside diameter for this since we can measure. So put in the lock position. So this one is 15, 15 point, uh, 15 point where it, it met 65, 40, uh, 15 15.65. So 15.65 and since this one uh, is 15.65 the inside diameter I'm going to measure the outside diameter for this 15.75 so 15.75 so 15.75 so the difference between between the two is 0.10 mm so 0.10 mm so the difference uh, the measurement of the uh, inside uh, diameter of the bushing is 0.15.65 the outside diameter of this shaft or the outside, outside diameter of this uh, area or uh, components is 15.75 so we're going to uh, minus subtract so the difference is 0.10 mm so that's how our vernier caliper can work it can also measure the depth using this uh, part in here for example, this one, or just simply uh, like that, then you can measure the depth already. The depth. So anyway, so this is our uh, vernier caliper. So I have here the finest you can read is 0 0.005. Uh, I think this one is the more precise the micrometer as it is 0 0.01 so depends on the manufacturer or the uh, manufacturer this one this one the, uh, some other measuring tools can use to measure a thousand place of our millimeter so there are various uh, types of measuring tools that we can use especially nowadays in uh, most engineering workshops so for clearances also we can use uh, filler gauges this one or this uh, vernier caliper micrometer so this one has a fix of this one 1 mm the filler gauge uh, the finest it can is 0 0.04 0 0.04 mm so that's how our measuring tools uh, work so make sure we're going to use utilize this one and we'll use this one for the uh, exact uh, work or for the uh, proper work uh, using these tools can make us work efficiently and effectively so, for the maintenance of our measuring tools, make sure to lubricate, uh, inspect for damages or defects, uh, calibration before and after the use. Then, we're going to place this on its uh, designated storage uh, to protect our tools. Uh, we don't want this to be defective, especially. Uh, during using so 